on the noses of your skis. Dude, his tails, his base, his boots don't even hit the landing. No, I currently sucking on some lemon, ginger, cayenne, turmeric, uh, honey water. Feeling a little bit sick today. I just got back from Lake Louise. It's one of the few resorts with snow out west right now. It was, dude, it was so good. <laughs> also heading over to France in a couple of days, which is really exciting. They got a lot of snow over there right now, but that only gives me a couple of days to watch the faction film collectives and was film. So many awful problems in my life. Really tough. <laughs> Dude, thanks for letting me live this life. Anyways, if you guys aren't familiar with Faction Film Collective and what they've been doing with Red Bull over the last couple of years, they've been putting out, in my opinion, some of the best full feature length ski films in history, including my favorite ski film segment of all time. If you guys remember the film The Collective from a few years back, that introduction, big air scene. George Clanton, kill you in bed going on in the background. One of the prettiest big booty booters to ever be made. And you got you got guys like Antio Leela, Alex Hall, Mac Forehand Session, that thing. Some of the nuttiest tricks. This is their newest feature film that came out a couple of weeks ago on Red Bull TV. It's called Abstract. <laughs> oh, Mac Forehand getting the first introduction clip. Coming up to the... Full capped out A-frame there, come the top of that battleship bar, just a full up to down, full front 360 swap. This man won X Games Big Air last year for tossing the first ever forward dub 2160. Six full rotations on him. New one, Koga Hoshino, I think is how you pronounce it. Probably absolutely butchered it. I am so sorry. Going for the full disaster to the down there, that was huge. Alex coming up, switch tails to switch, pumping out something similar to a Dubai World Cup run. Oh! <laughs> Gapping over to the midsection there, popping out 180. Anti, one of the best to ever come out of Finland. Switch five, Captain Blunt gets the hand plan on it too. This is not the project to be watching when you're sick. It's gonna put your throat in a worse off position. There's the road five, double nostril hit straight to switch. Come inside, tell you come inside, yeah, we slide. On your mind, everything ain't right. No. Nope. Switch tails too. Proper DFD, so steep, making it look like a comp rail. That's crazy. 270 disaster getting cracked. All oh, coming up short. Bro. Hold up. Pushing the Japanese urban scene. Love to see it. You're, who is this man? Full on double backflip. Huge step down urban hit. Not even repping a bucket. That's insane. So ghetto. Looks like the rail's gonna come off any instant. Still gets a lip on back 450 out like it's nothing. Coming up, alley oop one. Pivots the balance perfectly, pops down. Some of these features, man, again, looks fictitious on camera. It looks like they're able to hold the weight, but in reality, any of these rails could break at any second. This is the streets, there's so many uncontrolled variables out here. These apparent artists, these skiers, try to express their creativity through forms unknown and untried. We're gonna go up the down rail. And hopefully not right on my head. The snow in Japan is just next to none. Had the had the lifelong pleasure, lifelong dream. I'm skiing in Hokkaido last year. The food there is incredible as well, man. It's not just about the snow. It's the fact that you can dump down to the lodge and pay 12 bucks for one of the best bowls of ramen in your life instead of paying 30 bucks for a half-ass burger and beer and whisk. Japan does it right. Ooh, and it isn't mine. Oh, flat three. Lock in safety, tweaking his knees out as well. Classic anti stun. So scary to pop switch tails. Pred's two out. Switch tails means he's popping off backwards, going off switch, and his tails go over the rail first. So we call it switch tails. But you can see if he pops over a little bit too heavily with his tails, he's going straight down to that street and getting rickrolled by a bus. And that Preds 2 out was dirty as well. Back swap to switch. Scissoring stopping that momentum to hold it at switch. Mm. Anti winched up blast and oh. A lot of people would just pull around 270 and go straight down, but he holds it at one. Holds it at one before pivoting down. 
popping out like 40, another 45 degrees. So difficult to get scale for just how big that is. Again, a camera's always gonna do you an injustice. Kind of get a little bit of scale from this little homie down on the left side. But if you were to see that in the flesh, man, that is a massive feature. That is a boatload amount of speed you gotta take into it. Backslide, back two. Right by the river, catch yourself a fish and call it a day, man. That is gorgeous. 270, look at the scissor on it. So hard. Look, look at that scissor. Oh. Yeah, flat three. Koga locking the Japan as well. Again, huge step down feature. That would be so scary. But they make it look just, they make it look so simple. Oh, that's so dope. And not only does Faction have some of the biggest names on their team in men's free ski history, but the ladies, man, they throw down as well. Sarah Hoffman's also been doing it for over a decade, rocking in so many medals in her time. Full on cork three, landed one footed, holding safety for dear life there. 180 up. Oh. Yeah, here we go. You see him? <laughs> you see him? Man, there is a higher probability that Hogwarts exists than this guy's skiing being real. Matei, man, Matei sponsor. If you've never seen that guy ski, just give him like a 20 foot table and he will put down some of the most astounding wizardry on a pair of skis I've ever seen. Switched up 12, switched up 10, holding it at 10. Look at this, throws switch double cork 1260, but just holds it out at 10, three full rotations, and he's opening up both shoulders while still maintaining that hold at 1080. It's one thing to do a bring back and make it look closed off and awkward, but Mac just held out that super long nostril mute grab and put it down to switch to make it a switched up 10. The 450s are crazy, man. He almost had time for pretzel six. Yeah, favorite trick. One of my favorite tricks in the entire book. Full on Kangi flip, holding trailing blunt there. So rad. Joss Christensen is an animal for that one as well. I mean, it's all been good. I'm just, yeah, he's coming. Look at that, straight up. Full on bring back switch three. Oh my lord. Oh yeah! Bro, it is so hard just to land a switch three, let alone holding it at 270 when you're perpendicular to the landing, let alone tossing all of that weight on the noses of your skis. Dude, his tails, his base, his boots don't even hit the landing. I don't even know if they make dins high enough to hold the heel of your boot and he probably screwed his boot into the back of his twig there. It's like... Cork three, nose tail swerve to five? Oh, it holds it at one? Oh. He literally defines his own textbook, man. Like every conventional piece of jargon for skiing leaves when this man puts on his. It's like switch two to the bunt to that rail, 90 swerve over to switch ski slide, prets one out. That's gotta be one of the most difficult rail tricks ever executed in history. That, like, dude, none of this has ever been done. He pulls out worlds first like it's nobody's business. It's one thing to redirect your momentum on a rail, an actual object, and noun, because you have a thing to create a reaction on where you get that equal and opposite reaction. This man is pulling out that exact same philosophy, that exact same theory of physics, but in, in, in the midst of air. It's like switched up nine brings back to seven. And he has the audacity to throw it both ways, left and right. That's never been done. That's, that's casually in just a slope style park. Left side switched up seven, brain back to right side switched up seven, brain back. <laughs> Goes cork five, brain back. How is that possible? I've seen this man sesh on trap as well. Like the stuff he, dude, he's literally taking every single whack thing he's throwing on tramp to snow. That's insane. And with Matei, you can see he tosses a really flippy cork sev. And the fact he actually holds blunt is crazy. He doesn't have that right side leg to kick out and stop his momentum. Still manages to kick it out and hold it at 540. This is, wow. This is 2023, huh? That's insane. Oh. I don't, I don't know if I can take any more anti coming out with the switch backflip mute and the switch flat five there.
Dylan Deschamps. He won the first World Cup Big Air of the entire season out in Switzerland. Canadian local. He tossed a switch double, Misty 1620, in that sketchy jump out in Kerr. Looks like you're watching a simulation when you watch him ski. Grab combo on the dub 1442, flips, four full rotations, low PS dub backflip, almost taking it to the entire bottom there. Pulling out the full on triple backflip, no bucket needed. Holy cow. Alex coming in for his turn. Beauty. Pump a 90 handrake, Pretz 90 to switch, switch tail bud 7. Pop in early to get a hand plant on the end of that kicker. Yeah. Wraps it all the way around at 12.60, three and a half spins, matches it up, switches well. Bro, so hard to do that on a single off axis rotation. Way easier to dub it. And the fact he made it look like a nine. Dub shifty on a switch dub 10. Eh? That's the type of thing you only see in a seven, man, not a dub 10. Two flips, three full spins, two pivots. Over, back, grabs on the safety to pull around the last rotation of that 10. Matei, dude, like, do you see what I'm saying? That did not disappoint in the, the slightest. The Japan urban lines, the big backcountry hits. There was a lot of beautiful big mountain stuff that I didn't show off in the video because I want to leave that for your own enjoyment without my sickness and my hoots and hollers ruining the footage in the background. Faction Collective, Rebel Media House, everybody else involved, thanks for putting this on, man. This was a beautiful piece. If you want to watch the full thing, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. It's exclusively on Rebel TV. We'll see you in the next one.